Hi guys, today we're going to be working on this red, white, and blue design for the 4th of July. And as you can see, I've already completed my own manicure, but uh, by request on Facebook, I thought I would show you guys just on the nail wheel again. The other nail here, if you haven't seen that tutorial, is my stained glass nails. This is the nail I'm going to be working on today, and I have it prepped with a white. I'm using Zoya Janessa, which is just kind of a shimmery white, almost looks silver in some lights. And then for the red burst, I'm going to be using Zoya Delila, which is this sparkly red. And the blue is China Glaze Blue Year's Eve, which is this sparkly blue. And as far as the placement goes, you can see on my own nails, I have it so that the blues are kind of uh, bursting out of the same area and the red is kind of bursting out of the same area. You can do that same sort of pattern or you can place them randomly. You can do just one on a nail, uh, which I did in a kind of fireworks theme design that I did for New Year's Eve a couple years ago. But I've just got a scratch piece of paper here and kind of a medium sized striper brush. I've let the base color dry completely, although it's okay if it's still, you know, like a little tacky, just so long as you can um, draw on it without drawing all the polish out and creating bald spots. So I'm just going to get some of this red onto my striper, and I'm just going to start from what would be the corner of the nail and draw out. And really all you have to be able to do for this design is draw a fairly straight line. Even if it's not completely straight, that's okay. And continue out from that same point in the corner. On some of my nails I started with the blue and on some of my nails I started with the red. It doesn't really make that big of a difference. It just kind of helps when you do the second color to determine where you're going to place the, uh, the ends. So I just cleaned my brushes in a little bit of nail polish remover and I have that off to the side. And now I'm going to put out a little bit of the blue. And sometimes it can be a little tricky. It's like it's easier to draw straight lines in one direction than another. So certainly don't be afraid to move your hand however makes it easier for you. And as I go in with the blue, I'm just going to go kind of between the red so that they kind of almost intertwine, maybe not intertwine, but interlock. <clears throat> and I'm just going to continue from the corner until I'm happy with the design that I have. And you may be able to see, even I don't have a completely steady hand, and these stripes are still turning out pretty evenly. The blue ones are actually coming out a little bit thinner, so I'm going to add just a little bit more blue polish and kind of just go over them to make them a little bit thicker. But that all comes down to your own personal preference. And if you want them super thick, you can go ahead and make them super thick. If you want them to be more skinny, you can go ahead and leave them on the skinny side. So like I think I've mentioned to you guys before, it's a little harder doing this on a nail wheel than on my own actual nail. But I think that gives you a pretty good idea of how I did this look. Once it's uh, dry to the touch, you can go ahead and add your top coat and you're ready to go. You can switch out whatever colors you like the rest of the year or, you know, no reason you can't wear red, white, and blue when it's not the 4th of July. So I'm going to try and get in one more tutorial before the holiday, hopefully a Independence Day water marble. So stay tuned for that. And as always, thanks for watching.